morning and happy Friday, guys. You have made it to the last day of the week and the last one of our 5K prep warm-up program in which we are doing with our friends from Achilles International. So, Francesco, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Francesco. Let's go. I'm totally blind from Achilles International, and we're going to be doing some, some total body workouts today. So Francesco is here, just like he's been all week, to help modify some of these exercises for us. And again, this is in preparation for their upcoming 5K, which he's going to tell us a little bit more about during our warm-up. But yeah, today's okay. workout is going to consist of a warm-up. We're going through two strength circuits that are full body, then we're going to go into our cool-down stretch. What we're going to need today is going to be a backpack, which if you were with us earlier this week, just grab that bag, make sure it's loaded up. Let's look for maybe anywhere from 10 to 30 pounds. We're going to need um, maybe a chair, step stool, couch, bed, anything that we could do some of our single leg work from. And other than that, just a mat and you're good. Oh, bottle water, because as we learned all week, this, this <laughs> definitely comes out. Okay. All right. So Francesco, let's start with the warm up. We're going to do world's yep. greatest stretch first. We're going to come down onto our knee. We're going to place our hands inside the arch of the foot, arch of the forward foot. We're going to bend our elbow, bring it down to our ankle. We're going to glide that elbow up along your shin and rotate back behind you. So that's going to be one. We're doing this right now to get through into our hamstrings, into our quads. So right there is two. So I'm going to have you go through into that third one there for us, Francesco. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Three. Now let's switch sides, okay? Yep. Sounds good. We're going to bring that right leg out in front of you. I got my left leg out. We're going to bend at the elbow on that side, and we're going to come all the way up along our shin and twist back. So we're getting into our thoracic spine, because as you guys got through all week, that rotational element as a runner, super important. And there we are at three. Yeah. So that one got our hips, our hamstrings, our quads, and our thoracic spine. So we could probably end the warm up there, but let's go through hurdle steps. <laughs> okay, you wanna talk us through this one? Yeah, so let's bring this knee straight up in front of us and we're gonna rotate that out to the side, getting that interior stretch and then step down. Okay, awesome. And then opposite, or do we do the same? Which one do you wanna do? Okay, no, cool. Let's just alternate. Yeah, 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 you're right. All right. Well, I don't know, you could do it either way, but for I'm me, it's a fun game of stability. <laughs> Wait, are you doing both at the same time? Because that would be insane. That would be insane because what's touching the ground? <laughs> exactly. That is what happens when you're that quick of a runner. You just float. <laughs> guys, so as long as our hips are good, we're going to go into one more movement, our low side to side lunges. Let's get those feet hip width apart. We're going to push your butt back. You're going to stretch through your inner thigh. And we're going to shift side to side. Okay. So you want to tell us a little bit more about the... Um, the 5K, the Hope yeah, and Possibility so, Virtual 5K. Exactly. So this is it's called okay. Hope Possibility. It's the first time it's going virtual, and you uh -huh. can sign up with the link in the description. And basically, okay. because it's virtual, we got people from all over the country and around the world doing this race with us. So it's a great way okay. for people to come to get it. Awesome. All right, so we are warmed up. We're gonna get through into our first circuit. So we are going to go through. A back movement, a leg movement, a chest movement, a leg movement. We're 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, because that is the name of our game all week, and we're probably the best comedy duo in town this week. <laughs> so That's right. Catch up on our previous episodes. Right, so first one is going to be our row. We're going to work with a backpack here. I'm going to break it down really quick, then we'll start timing us. So um, first, we're going to show us some modification as we go, but I'm just going to talk you guys through this first one. You're going to take the backpack, hold the handles, push your hips back. If you're with us for deadlifts, you're pretty much in that same form. Keep your chin tucked. Squeeze through your shoulder blades, though, this time, and pull your elbows back in along your rib cage as if they're going to touch behind your back, and you're getting right back there through into your lats. As we go into this 30 seconds, Francesco, if you could give us our modification, we're yeah, going to go in three, two, one, and let's row. Yeah, so I'm actually going to do a single arm row. And I like single arm because it really lets me isolate one side of the body and I can add a little bit of rotation at the top to really get that range of motion and that squeeze in the lat. Boom, <sighs> I like so it. If you do single arm, just uh, switch off after 15 seconds. All right, 15 seconds, let's right, switch. Let's do it. Thank you for the reminder. Man, you were right there <laughs> on time. No, I was 
I wish I could say it was on purpose, but you know. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm going to do next week when we don't have you here. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go through 30 seconds of rest, and then we have our single leg squat. So for this one, I'm going to bring out my step stool. Francesco's going to be doing this from his bed. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a seat on my step stool. I'm going to hope to goodness it doesn't slide out from underneath me. I'm going to bring my right leg fully extended. My left foot is pushed into the ground. My chest is up. My core is tight. I'm pushing through the heel, coming up, stabilizing on one foot. And then I'm going to sit back down, but I almost fell there without losing it. Okay, but I promise I'm going to do it correctly as we go. So we're going to go in three, two, push this back. And one, you ready to start, Francesco? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do this. All right, cool. so if you notice, Francesco is standing because uh, he's a lot better at this. I'm uh, literally sitting down onto something. I love having you, like a bed or a stool or something to like balance a bit. Because, oh my God, you know, that's so don't have, Like, I definitely don't have yes. enough balance. And we're gonna switch sides now, okay? Switch sides. Yep. Um, so just to have something to like steady yourself on as you're starting ah. off on. And you can progress to, to just balancing on one foot, which is insane. Oh my God. You like literally pulled out all the tricks for the last day of the week. <laughs> you show me up. And you're good right there. 15 seconds cool. per side. Okay, so we got 30 seconds of rest. And then we're gonna go through into push-ups. So I'm going to show you guys um, push-ups from the knees. And then Francesco, I'm leaving it up to you to bring out the big guns and show us awesome. these, uh, conventional, okay? So yeah. we're gonna go in 15 seconds, so if you wanna start talking us through it. Yeah, so basically, we're gonna get in our plank position, which if you were in our episode yesterday, you would know very well. And our hands are uh -huh. underneath your shoulders, and we're basically gonna come down, keep your elbows tucked in, and okay. try not to dump yourself on the ground. <laughs> okay, so let's go in three, two, one. I think you got a couple of extra push-ups there. That's right, I just one. <laughs> So again, you just want to keep everything nice and straight. I'm going to transition now into a modified. I'm going to be stabling, stabilizing on my knees. I'm going to bring my hips down at an angle. I want to make sure that my butt is coming down with me and I'm not keeping it up in the air. I'm kind of just telling myself I'm pushing down at a diagonal angle, really loading up my chest and my triceps here. Two, one, and you are good right there. All right, so we got our 30 seconds of rest here. And then we're gonna go through into our Bulgarian split squat. So I'm gonna be using the couch for this one. I'm gonna be placing the top of my foot on the couch right behind me. I'm gonna step my left foot out about two to three steps. And I'm gonna be sitting down into a lunge pretty much. I'm gonna push through the heel and drive straight up. I'm gonna do 15 seconds on one side, 15 on the other. So let's start in three, two, one, and let's begin. Cool. Francesco, what type of tips do you got for this one? Um, I will say I love the idea of using furniture like a bed. I never thought I could use my bed as a workout ah. thing. We just press through the heel, activate that gotcha. to that front foot. And we're gonna switch. Yeah, okay. Switch. And go back into it. Yeah. And this is all awesome listening. Way to really isolate that leg. You just want to make sure that foot is far enough out in front of you, so that this way you can really sit back into that glute. And we are good, right there. Awesome. All right, so we got thirty seconds of rest. I think so far this is my favorite one. <laughs> we got five seconds left. We're gonna go back into those rows. Second round now. Three. Yep. Two. One. And let's do this. So I am so convinced that all of you guys out there are gonna have my timer tone just embedded into your memory. So oh, yeah, first of all, I'll let you know. <laughs> you got three, two, Perfect. one. Let's switch those switch sides. sides. Let's hit back. So guys, we went over a lot of posture stuff earlier this week. So let's take some of those tips and tricks from there to really make sure that you're keeping your shoulder blades back and down. You're focusing on that activation into your back. All right. There we go. And we are good right there. So we got our 30 seconds worth of rest. And then we're gonna go back into our single leg squats. In which uh show up here is gonna do this standing next to his bed. 
I say that with all kindness and humor. Uh, no, not it's not. I don't want to say humor. Um, maybe a little bit of jealousy. I I I, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> All right, we got five seconds. Actually, admiration. That is the <laughs> word. Okay, and let's go single leg. All right, cool. So, as I'm doing it here, I'm sitting my glutes down onto the step stool. I'm pushing through my heel, extending my hip up, squeezing my butt. And we got yeah, and three say, more seconds. Just like we did. And oh, switch. We'll switch off yeah. Just All like right, we said about the squats. Back to you. Let's go. Uh -huh. um, yep. it, on Wednesday. Basically, we want to keep the same form in mind. Don't let that knee go over the toes too much, right? We want to sit back and down. We don't want to like kneel yes. forward. I can't believe you're bringing everybody back to Wednesday. So those of you guys that didn't get down on our leg workout, please click back, check it out, and see how everything we've done all week has progressed you up to this point right here, okay? So 30 seconds of rest, and then we're gonna go back through into our push-ups. Awesome this out of the way. So I'm gonna show you guys another uh, modification that you could do. I'm gonna be kneeling on my mat and I'm gonna be pushing off the edge of my couch. Again, I just wanna make sure that my hands are in line with my chest so they're not jammed up there with my shoulders. And I'll make sure my elbows are just tucking back and nothing's flying out like bird wings, okay? So we're gonna go in three, two, one, let's yeah. begin. I'm actually going to be putting my feet up on the bed with my hands uh, on the ground. And I like doing this because I feel like it hits my belt a little more because it's more of like a like a inclined bench press instead of like a flat, you know. And also to prove just how much of an athlete you are, we got it. <laughs> no, no, I actually feel like it's easier than flat push-ups. You, you are. You're. You're. You're right. So let's just focus on that breathing into the nose, out through the mouth. Let's keep your core nice and tight. No dipping of your hips. And you are good, guys. We have now. 30 more seconds of rest until we get back into Bulgarian split squats, which I agree with you. I like these a lot. <laughs> yeah. Some of my runners are like, no, why do we have to do that? Because I do train a lot of runners, being a marathon runner myself. Um, I actually have a blink client that I had brought from not being able to run a mile all the way to doing the San Diego marathon with me. That so, is so insane. That's awesome. Yeah. It was. It took us like a good like year and a half or so, but we, we, we made it there. All right, so we're gonna go in three, two, one. Let's place that foot onto your surface and just drop it down. What type of tips you got for us, Francesco? I will say just keep in mind that, that squat form. So basically press through the heel, activate the glute. You know, we don't, we make sure that foot is far enough and in front. And let's switch. Switch sides. Okay. Yeah, I definitely don't you do this it. enough, but it's such an awesome movement. Oh, I feel like I'm stronger on one side. Oh, that's a, yeah, exactly. A lot of runners will find this as well, that, you know, one side's a stronger side, and we're good right there. All right, so we got rest. We got one more round of this. Yeah, I will say, Ooh. if you find that one side is stronger than the other, that does not mean you only train the side that's stronger, because you can lift more weight with it, right? <laughs> if anything, you should train the side gotcha. that's weaker to bring it up. <laughs> that is true. Uh, so do you, you want to give us, um, Kind of like a little taste of what it's been like to run races when we weren't, you know, socially distanced yeah. with others at Achilles. Yeah, definitely. And we're gonna go Here's in three, go. Yeah. two, one. We're gonna go into our rows. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's. You got the bag. All right, let's go. Yeah. yeah it's also All the right. biggest thing is honestly other people because because I'm totally blind. My guy, mm -hmm. you know, his whole responsibility is making sure like we don't slam into other people. <laughs> So gotcha. in like a marathon where there's just thousands of people milling around, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of attention that needs to be put towards that. A lot of logistics. <laughs> Three switch sides. There we go. Oh, sorry about that, Francisco. No, no, it's all good. So that right, um, this right here is our third round of it. So whew, good thing that uh, I made it through that. My apologies. Yeah. I can't help there it. Your story was so good that I no, <laughs> can't help but listen. <laughs> all right, we got our rest. Uh, then we got. Uh, yeah. So we're going to go into our single leg squats next. But anybody that is interested in volunteering with Achilles, like check out their website because I know that once all this distancing is lifted, I'm definitely going to be signing up to do some volunteer work. And I'm anxious, I'm nervous, but I'm also excited because 
yeah, it creates possibilities, which is what this whole entire 5K is about. So. Yeah, definitely. EmployeesInternational.org. All right, let's do single leg. All right, three, two, yeah. one. Oh, sounds like somebody really wants to get this workout part. over. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. a fun part about <laughs> running like marathon is the kind yeah. of team that you form. Because like uh-huh. when I did New York City Marathon, I basically, you know, I had like my main guy that was tethered uh-huh. to me. And we're gonna switch. 15 seconds, all right. Yep. And then I had another person, like a side runner, who was basically okay. a reserve, but it was their job to run in and out of the refueling station so that we could like miss the crowd. Okay. So it's like this almost like team tactics thing going on. We're good right there. Woo. All right, I know it didn't go off that time. My apologies. <laughs> and I threw everybody off. Oh, I hit it too soon. I was like, one? All right, let me stop it. <laughs> yeah, that, oh, you're like painting such an awesome picture. Whew, I cannot wait till we have some road races again. Those, oh, yeah. those are gonna be awesome. All right, so we have push-ups next. It's our last round of these. Um, so Francesco, if you wanna give us any modifications for any yeah. so um, the first time I runners that need it. Ground, the second time I did it with my feet on the bed, this time I'm gonna do it on my knees. And if you have an arm impairment, obviously you could do like a single arm push-up um, okay. and a lower limb. You know, if you could just uh, keep, keep it pushing like normal. Okay, so we're gonna go in three, two, one. So I'm doing mine from my couch with my legs out nice and straight. My elbows are tucked <clears> behind. You know what I'm thinking? All these push-ups we just showed today, we probably could have created a whole nother video on just push-ups like we did yesterday. But yeah, just push-up variations. And you're just focusing on keeping your core nice and tight. You're keeping those hips level. Whew. Try not to drop them. Squeeze your glutes. Raise your core, use, oh yeah, core. We did plank yesterday, no wonder why this feels hard. All right, and we are good <laughs> right. right there. Oh. Okay, so I'm sure everybody's probably like, thank goodness there is no core movement in here yet, but you guys haven't made some second circuit yet, which let's just say that there's core movement in there, okay? It's a doozy. Ah, right, so, <laughs> uh, you steal my words. All right, so we have about uh, 10 seconds left. We're gonna go into the last round of Bulgarian split squats. If you guys do want to make this a little bit more difficult, you could take that backpack that you had, hold it on one side for one, hold it on the other side for the other, okay? So we're gonna go in three, two, one. Get that foot out in place and let's drop it down. Good. Yeah, we're getting to the point in the week where I just talk in weird voices and stuff. So, you guys are like getting out just in time. All right, we got three, Two, one, let's switch. All right, and here we go. Oh, you got it. How you doing there? You good? Are you holding anything or no? Or are you just holding your core? My chest. Oh my goodness. Man, I shouldn't have put these ideas in your head. <laughs> You're good right there. So how did that feel? Oh, it felt awesome. It totally I throws off the center. Those, like, I couldn't even do them, like one rep because I kept losing my balance and swaying side to uh-huh. side. <laughs> yeah, so guys, balance, stability, all of that agility is really important, um, especially when you're out there running on the pavement, whether you're on sand, whether you're like on grass. So do go back, back to our workout on Wednesday so that this way you can get some of the multi-directional work in for your legs, okay? We have two seconds left of rest. Oh my goodness, we, we're done with the circuit. Yeah, we all right, are. So, Guys, now is your chance to grab your water, which is what I'm gonna do, being that I forgot it, and I was like, guys, get water. And we're gonna come back with your next circuit. So, just a heads up. This circuit we just did, this focuses on your strength, it focuses on your stability as a runner. The next circuit's going to focus on your speed and power as a runner. So the whole week, we're giving you all these different tips and tricks, and just culminating into this. All right, so grab the water, and we'll be right back, okay? All right, water is down. Now we're into our last circuit, which we mentioned. We're going through speed, power, all that stuff, which we need when we're running. First movement is going to be speed skaters. We're gonna do 30 seconds of these. I'm gonna quickly talk you through them, then we'll get that timer going. We're gonna come down to a nice little mini squat, nice athletic stance. We're gonna stabilize on your left leg, bring your right leg back behind you. The toe can touch slightly to the ground or just let it hover. Now we're gonna power over onto that left leg, down to that squat and shift over side to side, okay? 
So we are gonna start this in three, two, oh my goodness, let me get the timer, and one. All right, That's let's awesome. go. Sitting down yeah, I will say it. for anyone who has either an injury on one foot or a lower limb impairment, you can basically just stay on one foot and just keep rotating your torso up and down, bringing that leg in front of you and behind you. Oh, I like it. Or jump back and forth. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> and again, this is working on speed. It's working on power. You want to sit back into the heel if you can. Shoot through those hips. You have five seconds left. If you want, use your arms. Bring them in front of you. Bring them back behind you. All right. And you are good right there. 30 seconds rest. And then we're going to go through into backpack rotational chop. Francesco, you want to walk us through this one? Yeah, so we're basically going to start in a low squat position, especially since I have a fan and light right above my head. <laughs> and I'm going to start with my bag on my lower right side. And as I get up from the squat, I'm going to rotate the bag to my upper left. Cool. And All right, then and then we're, are we doing 15 on one side, 15 yeah. on the other? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, I will remember to remind us. I'm sure my core will be like, hello, we need to do this. <laughs> okay, we're going in three, two, one. Let's do it. Whew. Sit down, bring it up. Sit back into those heels. Right? That's what I was talking about. Last circuit, it's like, oh, there's no core. Ha ha ha. Here's your core. But yeah, from all those planks yesterday, all the rotational work, your obliques are going to feel this, guys. And let's switch. Okay? Opposite side. Remember, be aware of what's around you since uh, you're doing this at home. Don't, let's not smash any TVs or light, light fixtures. We're good right there. Is that a reminder to us or a reminder to, to, to yourself? To, to me, definitely to me. <laughs> uh, okay, so next movement is going to be V up. So now we're back even more into the core. We're going to lay down onto the back. We're going to bring our legs all the way out in front, our arms back behind us. We're going to sit up, bringing the legs up straight, hands up, and then slowly come down, okay? Try to keep your legs straight. If you have tight hamstrings, yeah, it's going to be difficult. All right, we have about three seconds left, and then we're going to go into 30 seconds. And let's begin. And we're bringing it up. Slowly come down. There we go. Whew, I have so much trouble balancing at the top. Oh, me so too. Francesca, you want to try to lift those legs as much as you can. My knees are bending, okay, guys? These are hard. We did core yesterday, and if you were with us, you know this is difficult. Whew. All right, I think we're both doing modifications today. I think so. All right, <laughs> and we're good right there. There we go. All right, honestly, all that matters is that we're moving, okay? All right, we got 30 seconds and then jump squat. Do you want to talk us through these? Yeah, so we're basically, um, we're gonna start at the bottom of the squat and we're gonna explode upwards through our heels, activating your glutes. And again, Woo. quality over quantity. Thank you for the this, reminder. Yeah, especially when we're landing. Let's not land sloppy, you know, on our joints. Let's land oh, with yeah. form. Cool. Yeah, and the more, the wider your feet are apart, the better it'll be, okay? So yeah. let's go in <clears throat> three, two, one. And explode. There we go. Try to sit back into your heel, land nice and flat. You can thrust those arms back behind you as you explode into the air. You're using your glutes, you're using your hips. We have 15 seconds left. I think float is a generous term when you look at me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's what happens when you show off with those single leg squats before, okay? That's Three, right. <laughs> two, one, and you're good right there. And anybody that does have issues, with the knee and jumping is just like not good for you. Um, go through just regular squats. Oh, we're in ice skaters. Again, if jumping is kind of a little too much for your knees, just go through side lunges, okay? All right, we have about 15 seconds left. Woo. First time we're circuit. Oh, man. So we have about, oh, my heart rate's at 151. 154. Okay. <laughs> if anyone is wearing a tracker, let us know what your heart rate got up to in this circuit. Yeah. Okay. We are back <clears throat> into our speed skaters. Let's go. All right. And begin. Keep that butt low. Let's thrust through those hips. And I'm going to switch over for side lunges. For anybody that's having issues with their knees, you're just going to bring your feet hip width apart. You'll sit your butt back. 
come up, shift it down. So again, you're still moving laterally, you're still working those same muscles. It's just not the same speed and power that we were using in that skater. Yeah, and if you like those lunges, check out our Wednesday One. workout. <laughs> Boom, look at you. All right, 30 Plug seconds in. of rest. <laughs> and then after that, we have our chops. Let yeah. take a sip of water. Oh my God, it's mornings like these. You make me realize how much better water is than coffee. Oh yeah. And there was my Long Island accent, coffee. All right. Coffee. <laughs> I know, I can't help it. I love it. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go in five, four, three, two, one, and let's begin. Right. We're going to sit it down and chop it up. 15 seconds. I'm going to hold through onto my bag, not onto the straps because that can get dangerous. Yes. <laughs> All right. And let's switch, guys. Oh, you're going to find one side. Does not rotate as prettily, that's not even a word, as beautifully as the other side. Sitting back into it. Which is awesome, right? Because we want to find those chinks Five. in the armor. So yes. that's what we need to work on. And we are good right there. <clears throat> All right. So you guys may have been like, all right, we're not, how is this full body? We're not doing arms. Hello, that was just arms. Your push-ups for <laughs> arms, so we got full body. All right, we have V-ups next. And you know what, guys? Any type of sit-up you want to do will suffice because we're going to be showing you lots of different ones whether we want to or not, okay? <laughs> we have about 10 seconds left of rest. So I'm pretty much keeping my knees bent as I come into this so this way my lower back doesn't pull. And I'm just gonna sit all the way back and I'm gonna come on up. All right, I should probably start the timer and not start doing my setups, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is also something called a lemon crusher. Your arms are back behind your head, your legs come out straight. I'm pulling my knees to my chest and I'm wrapping my hands around my knees as if I have a slice of lemon in between my hips, and I'm crushing it. Oh, that's awesome, I don't know. Right, 10 seconds left. Full stretch, all the way up, five more to go. Woo. And then the weekend is almost here. Okay, rest, second set of jump squats, one more round, cool down, and you're off to your last day of the work week. Yeah. I, I honestly don't know what they're going to do when they don't start their week off with us next week. That's true. I don't know. You might have to look to look at some reruns. <laughs> or they could sign up for the 5K. Or they could sign up for the 5K. That's right. And then connect with us through there. We can give them tips. They can leave us comments. And then it's like, wow, we missed you guys. Yeah. All right. That was 30 seconds. Let's get into our jump squats and go. So you're going to sit down into it. Explode up. Push those arms back behind. Let's squeeze through your glutes to the top. Extend your hips. Again, anybody who's having issues with their knees, you can just go into regular squats. You're gonna push those knees out over your toes. You're gonna keep your chest up. Francesco is keeping it jumping for us while I show you the modification. So it looks like I got the upper hand here. <laughs> and we are good, right? There, 30 seconds. Gotta think agile gazelle. Yeah. Okay, we're resting, and then we're going through our last round. So, if you guys can just like, let us know like, what movements all week do you feel have translated really well for you as a runner? Which ones have kind of actually helped you strengthen areas that you're like, oh wow, I didn't realize that was a weak spot in my running program. Speaking yeah, of running definitely. programs, let us know what your mileage looks like. Okay, we're going. In three, two, one, speed skaters. All right, sit it back and go. Woo! Stabilization. So think, guys, we did single leg squats before. You were on one leg, you were sitting down into it. Now, if you were doing them how Francesco was, you're able to sit deep into this while stabilizing on that leg. But if not, that's okay. You'll just work your way up to it. Oh, it took me so long to do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love looking at all the modifications for that, though. And you're good right yeah. there, 30 seconds. Cool. <clears throat> and also, if anybody's interested, I just hit my step goal for the day. I have not done that in the longest time since this whole social distancing. 
Wow, good job. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious about like, how like, many people are trying to do those step goals right now. Yeah. But hey, if you're logging your miles, you'll meet those step goals. Yeah, I'm just saying. True. <laughs> absolutely. And you true. don't even have to run it. You can walk, run, walk, run. All that matters is the distance. Yeah. Okay. We're going into our right. tops in three, two, one. Last round yeah. of these, so have fun with it, guys. I will say a thing I love Real to tips. do while running or even walk running is catching yeah. up on podcasts and audiobooks. Nice. So, you know, if you just, even if you're working, you need like a little 30 yeah. minute break in between and work. Switch. Switch sides. Yep. Um, just like put on a podcast, you know, do a little walk run outside. Or even inside okay. on the treadmill, you know? Yeah. Make sure you twist through. Focus on keeping your core nice and tight. Keep that chest up. And you're good right there. All right. All right. Let's take that rest. And then we're going into our ab work, which is funny so it's like go with what really excites you okay do v-ups if you want if not go through upper ab crunches or go with one of the movements that you really like that we did this week and let that work for you we have 10 yeah. seconds left of rest i'm gonna do some <sighs> leg raises what are you gonna do oh my goodness um i think i'm gonna do upper ab crunches nice three okay. two one let's go all right, you're good. You want to keep those knees in line with the hips. You want to get a light crunch through your upper abs if you're doing these upper ab crunches with us. If you're doing V-ups, legs out straight, arms back behind, bring those fingertips up to the toes and relax them both down. What are your cues for these leg raises? I will say make sure you're basically pressing your low back into the ground and decelerate that leg speed on the way down. Nice. Three, two, one, and you're good right there. All right, guys, this is it. Last movement, jump squat. 30 seconds. Whew. I am so thrilled to see how this has turned into a high intensity workout for us. Yeah. I don't yes. think people knew what they were in for. I, I didn't think I knew what I was in for. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got right now 11 seconds left. Woo -hoo -hoo. Five seconds left. All right, I'm just shaking it out. I'm mentally preparing myself for this. Three, yeah. two, one, and let's right, begin. One, Squat and power up. Exhale as you come up. Thrust those arms back behind you. Keep your chest high. Land nice and soft. Yeah, and if you're ah, exactly. If you're jumping, I just thought about that. Land softly. Yes. Let's not so make this house like tremble. Yeah, I got my landlord underneath me. I'm sure they're not happy this morning. They're, 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 they are getting up and blinking, I'll tell you that. That's right. <laughs> and we are good right there. Oh, my quads are on fire. Yeah, me too. I will say, the ice skaters got my glutes. The jump squats, jump squats got my quads. So if you guys felt that same way, let us know. All right. So that was our work workout. And, um, I don't really want to go into this cool down stretch because I don't want this whole relationship to end, but we got to do it. All right. Yeah. So we have figure four, then we have child's pose, then we have a quad stretch. We've done these earlier in the week, guys. So if you've been with us all week, you're probably a pro with these now. So Francesco, you want to talk us through figure four stretch? Yeah. So basically I'm going to do mine from a kneeling position, bring that front oh. leg in front of me. I know you're going to mm -hmm. do a different way, but this is, I yeah, like I no. get the glute a little more and the knees for me. I'm basically leaning into that knee. How are you doing it? Yeah, go for it. I'm laying on my back. I'm crossing my left ankle over my right knee. I'm latching onto my hamstring on the right side. I'm pulling my knee into my chest, allowing a stretch through my left glute. Okay. Yeah. And now I'm going to switch sides. Switch sides. <sighs> you could do this sitting on a chair too, if you guys want. And let's just make sure that keep your back planted getting that full stretch through and if you're in Francesco's position you really want to drop those hips down okay all right so let's go into our child's pose and it looks like you're going to easily transition into that one. Oh yeah it's all about okay, efficiency so, so what we're going to do is we're going to sit our hips back bringing our butt on top of the heels with our toes pointing back and down behind us the top of the foot is flat onto the mat we're going to reach our arms out in front of us lowering our chest to our knees our chin is tucked to our collarbone and we are stretching those fingertips all the way out pushing those hips back as much as we can 
We're going to do this for about 10 seconds, maybe even just five. And then we're going to come up into a quad stretch. So early in the week, I showed you the one laying on your side. I'm going to do this one standing today. So I'm just going to stand up. I'm going to take my right heel. I'm going to bring it in towards my right glute. I'm going to clasp around my right ankle. I'm pushing my right knee to the ground while I thrust my hip forward. That's getting a stretch through into the quad. What are you doing on there, Francesco? I'm, I'm doing your version on the ground. Nice. All right, let's honestly, I love the learning that, yeah, switch sides. I love learning in both ways because like if you're out in the park and you want to stretch your quad, you probably don't want to lie on the ground. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, learning a standing is good. And also when you're home, you can do it the other way. So it's just good to know multiple different options. Ooh. And plus this gives me all my stability. All right. <laughs> so that was our full body workout. Last one of this week with our friends from Achilles International, a New York City based organization that empowers individuals with disabilities to participate in mainstream running events. And we would really love you guys to check out their site, sign up for their virtual 5K, and maybe even volunteer after all this. What do you got? Yeah, Francesco? you can meet knuckleheads like me and run with us in marathons and stuff. It's awesome. <laughs> and you guys know what his, what his strengths and weaknesses are already. So you That's guys got exactly the upper right. hand. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So it's been an awesome week. We hope you guys sign up for the race, log that distance, and come back in next week to see what Blink has lined up for you. See you guys later.